Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about neutral, everyday, easy to wear lipsticks. That's what I wear almost on a daily basis and today I wanted to just show you some of my favorite combinations of liners and lipsticks, show you some swatches and what they look like on my lips. What got me to thinking about this was one of my latest purchases that I made in my latest Ulta and Sephora haul. I can link that video below. And that was Too Faced La Creme Lipstick in Sugar Daddy. And I just love this lipstick. To me, this is almost the perfect everyday neutral. I have it on my lips now, and it's just that perfect combination of pink, peach, and brown. It's not too light, it's not too dark, and it's just really flattering and easy to wear. It's a good creamy formula, and I have it on today with MAC Subculture Lip Liner. And it's just a great combination, and I love it. So I got to thinking about other combinations that I wear and thought I would share them with you today. Let's get started. The next two lipsticks I'm gonna talk about are from MAC. I have on high tea right now. It's their Luster Formula, and it's kind of a brownie champagne color. It's light enough that it works with whatever liner that you wear it with, but it's not so light that it's unflattering and it doesn't wash you out. Um, here it is swatched, and you can see that nice shimmer, but it's not too metallic. I have it on with Urban Decay Naked 2 Lip Liner, which is right here, and here is MAC Subculture Lip Liner that I swatched right here. MAC Plastique is an interesting animal to me. I don't even know how many tubes of this I've gone through in, I don't know, double digit years. I have, I think I wore this, God, in my 20s, and I have just gone through tube after tube of this. It's kind of this complex metallic, bronzy, peachy, pink shimmer. But it's not over the top. You can wear this to work, you can wear it out, you can wear it wherever, and it does change depending on the liner that you wear it with. So. I have it on over Subculture right now, and you can see it's just a nice neutral, and it looks really pretty. If you wear it over a dark liner, it's going to bring out kind of those pinker tones. If you wear it over a lighter, fleshy liner, it's going to bring out the peach tones. It is a frost formula, but it just looks really nice on the lips. I just, I've always loved this shade. Okay, and now I have on... Bite Beauty's Amuse Bouche formula in Honeycomb with Urban Decay Stark Naked Liner. And I swatched Stark Naked Liner here, and here is the Honeycomb. And this is Plastique. I'm not sure if I pointed that out a while ago. This is Plastique. This is High T. This is the Honeycomb. And this is your more classic brown nude lip. And it's just really nice, creamy, more of a comfort matte formula. Really nice. The next shade that I am showing you, I apologize because I do not know the official name. I think it's Milan by Buxom, and it is their full-on lipstick. This is what these look like. This shade is Marrakesh. This shade, unfortunately, has worn off. They print them right here in this silver lettering and it has completely gone. This one's almost gone, but I can kind of see what it was. I'm not a huge fan of the Marrakesh shade. It's really pale and I think kind of washes me out, but I like the shade. It's this, It's just kind of a nice neutral pink cut with a little bit of brown to make it a, a pretty neutral color. Um, unfortunately, I, I just, I'm not quite sure if this is Milan or Berlin. It's just a, a pretty neutral pink brown. So you can see how much more pink this has in it than the honeycomb did here. Um, and I apologize, this is, but this is something that I wear on a daily basis. This does have the typical buxom, tingly feeling as it makes your lips more enhanced. 
If you don't like that, you won't like this, but I like the formula of these. You can wear them as a liner and a lipstick. I don't have it on with a liner right now. I just have it on by itself, and it wears really well. I like these. Now I have on Urban Decay Vice Cream Formula in Insanity. This is your typical orangey brown. It's very creamy, it's very nice. It's not too orangey, it's not too brown. It's just not too, too anything. It's um, just really nice, it glides on beautifully. So there is that right there. And I have it on over Insanity Liner. And there is Insanity Liner right there. So, and it looks really nice for just kind of an orangey brown look. I don't know why I tend to wear naked lipstick with naked lip liner if they were supposed to be put together or not. It's such a light lip liner compared to the lipstick. I just, I tend to wear them together anyway. So here is naked lip liner swatched and here's naked lipstick. It's really pink but it's still a neutral. It doesn't look too, too pink. It's just a really pretty neutral pink. It's, I don't know what it's cut with to not make it glaring, but it's really just lovely and flattering. So I wear this quite often. I think I'm almost, that's all I have left. Kind of sad. I don't know how this lipstick is reading on camera, but I will tell you that I have had more compliments on this lipstick than I have had on any other lipstick in my entire life. And I've gone through many, many tubes and it is now discontinued and I am heartbroken. It's Laura Mercier Pink Dawn and I have tried and tried to find a dupe of it. I don't care how much money it is. I haven't found one yet. This is just the perfect kind of corally, but it's not quite orange enough to be corally. It's just the perfect pinky, peachy, gold color. I, I, don't, I don't even know. It's just so flattering, and if you pair it with the right blush, it's beautiful. So I have this much left of this one, and I have one that I'm hoarding in a box, and I'm gonna be so sad when they're gone. Okay, so now we're kind of moving in a pink direction and I pulled out my Rush Lip Liner by Urban Decay and Rush Lipstick by Urban Decay in the old formula. And this is a great fall combination for me. You can wear it year round. I just usually wear it in the fall. It's not too pink. It's just a nice neutral pink. So here is the Rush Lip Liner Swatched. And here is the Rush lipstick swatch. So it's a little bit deeper than most of the other colors here. The one thing I don't really like about this lip liner is that there's some sparkles in it, which once you put a lipstick on top of it, you really can't see, but I just it makes the formula a little bit drier than most of the other Urban Decay lip liners that I have. And I do love that formula, so it kind of takes away from that a little bit. So just something to note about that. And this is Laura Mercier T Rose over Urban Decay Naked 2. I kind of like wearing a neutral lip liner under it because it makes it more of a lips but better color. And it's got a nice creamy formula. It's just very pretty any time of year. And here it is swatched. Not too deep, not too bright, really pretty. I forgot to tell you guys, here is the Pink Dawn swatch, Laura Mercier. I forgot to point that out a while ago. This is one of my favorite lipsticks to wear in the fall. It's just so pretty and so comfortable on the lips when the lips are a little bit drier. It's Laura Mercier, is it Cortison, Cortisane? I don't know how to say it, but it's her stick gloss formula and it's just such a pretty kind of plummy berry with kind of a silver black shimmer going on in there that you can't really see. You just kind of see the glossiness of it. And there's 
just kind of a complex something going on in there. I really wear it over any of my neutral liners. It doesn't matter. Um, but this is what it looks like on swatch. You can see it's kind of sheer. And it's just a really, really pretty nice color. You can really wear it with anything. Well, it's just pretty and it's flattering. And the last one that I'm gonna mention is the Revlon Balm Stain in Honey. And here it is swatched. So it's another sheer formula too, but this actually stays on your lips and feels comfortable while it's on. And I like it because I can eat, I can talk, and I don't really have to worry about it coming off. It stays on and looks nice. And if I reapply over it, it still looks nice. And I don't have to reapply it that often. I think I was late jumping on the bandwagon on these. I may do a whole separate video on these at some point because I went from having zero to having over a handful within like a two week time period um, within this past year. And it just is a great lips but better pink color and I just think it's so nice to just slap on for an everyday color. Very easy, very pretty. And those are my neutral lipsticks that I wear on an everyday basis. I do have some others that are thrown in the mix and some non-neutral shades too, but for the most part, these are the ones that have been tried and true or that I have repurchased and that just get rotated in often. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would love to see you back here on a regular basis. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.